Happy Friday! Friday! Yeah. Kitty's back here taking a bath. Uh, I got home about an hour or so ago from the Y. Did about two and a half hours in the pool. Um, so, so nice to get in there. Although, the air inside the pool room was a little cooler than normal. So all of us were like, we need to stay under the water. And I made the mistake of dunking under my, my whole head. And then the air really felt cold on my wet face. I'm like, oh, this is the coldest I've ever felt it in here. I'm used to the water sometimes being cool. But when the air was cooler, I was like, no. Uh, but then when you get out. And then you go in the hallway outside the pool room. Then you're like, oh, it's really cold. Then I like getting in the, my, my little uh, changing room, shower room, and uh, getting underneath the hot water. I'm like, oh, warm, hot water. Feels so good. So, yeah. Um, still not ready for winter. Not. Can't help it, but I'm not. Yesterday was my mom's birthday. She would have been 68 years old. We had planned on getting up and going out, but it was just icy and snowy and crappy yesterday, so we just stayed home. I got up, took a shower, put on put on clean pajamas. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a melancholy day, really. And then Shannon sent us a package which, if I had known, I in hindsight, I probably should have waited and opened it in a couple more days. Because I really didn't know what was in it. And so, look at the cute box, though. Cute little box. And, um, she, this will be the only new ornament I have for the tree this year. She had a ornament done in memory of Heidi Ho. Heidi Ho! And let me just tell you. When we opened this yesterday, my dad started bawling. I mean, he, it was, uh, I'm like, oh gosh, dad. So then I'm like trying not to cry, and I'm like, oh god, golly. Oh, man. He brought a big box in the house today. I'm like, what's that for? He goes, to put Heidi's toys in. Because Heidi's toys are also in the corner. She's got a whole bunch in there. And uh, So I said, well, let's set the box on the futon for now. And then when Joanne comes up, let's put up the Christmas tree. If Hank is with her, his job can be to keep him busy, to climb back in there, get a toy, put it in a box. Because there's probably 50 or 60 toys back there. <laughs> I do know the one he'll want to keep and put on her little memory shelf will be the one she got for her first birthday. Which she never chewed up or destroyed. She has destroyed toys before. Her very first toy I ever bought her... It was actually before we even got her. We were up north. We stopped at a yard sale. There was this little stuffed buffalo. A little brown buffalo. I'm like, oh look, he's cute. He's only a quarter. And I'm like, I'm taking him home. And then we got Heidi. And that was her first toy. It wasn't a squeaky toy or anything. It was just a, a stuffed toy. And that slept with her in her crate because we crate trained her every night. And I always refer to it as buffalo. And... When she got in a little bit older, you know, she started chewing his eyes off. And then I had to fix him. And he started looking like a Frankenstein buffalo. But if there was a room full of toys and I could say, go get your buffalo. She knew which one buffalo was. Because buffalo was hers since as long as she could remember. And buffalo finally died. I mean, I tried as hard as I could to keep buffalo going. But I don't know how many times I stitched on that toy. And finally, one day, Buffalo disappeared. Sad but true. Kitty, are you still... Oh, she's over there now taking a nap. So today, uh, got up and did a little work stuff. Had to call the office and talk to Paige there and go over some stuff. And uh, and I left about... I actually left early today because a few days ago, there was a Filipino uh, Asian market up in Berrien Springs where I get my bubble tea. And they have the sweet chili chicken that I like. And a few days ago, I said, can't wait till you have the sweet chili chicken again. Because it's like a little deli. They only do certain things. And this morning, I woke up, and he had wrote, 
we're having sweet chili chicken today, Friday. And I'm like, okay, I'm leaving early. <laughs> so I, sw I swooped up around there, got lunch, took it with me to the Y, ate about half of it in the y, in the lobby, and then saved the rest for dinner because he gives you so much. For six ninety nine, you get a huge container full of stuff. Because <laughs> um, you can choose rice or pancit, which is like a rice noodle stuff, or both. I got a little bit of both. And a side, and I got three spring rolls, and then the main entree, which I got the sweet chili chicken. And he he, he opened the door for me when I got there. He goes, Stacy. <laughs> He's that family's so sweet, so very sweet. So I'm gonna get ready actually to go heat up my leftovers here in a moment. Okay, and don't be mad at me because yesterday after the whole hump or cry and we're both emotional and I decided to cook dinner since I knew we weren't going out and I made chicken parmesan from that box. I filmed nothing because I just just wanted to zone out and cook. <laughs> I, I dug into our freezer early in the day and I found a little container of spaghetti sauce dad had froze from last time we made spaghetti sauce. So I found that out and I boiled up some spaghetti and mixed sauce with it to put our chicken parm on top of and then I roasted our broccoli and I made our garlic toast it was all very good but uh yeah I did not film it but you'll survive I know you will but that's the only thing out of the box I've cooked so far um I don't know what to talk about I know my grandma and my Aunt Kathy are ready to go to Bailey's. For those of you who don't know, who might be new, Bailey's is a giant discount warehouse store. It's about an hour, 20 minutes away. And uh, they're ready. So Dad's going to call. Um, I should call Grandma right now and say, next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you pick the day. I'm going to call her right now when I get off. When I get off when I get off with you, fine people. I wanted to say when I get off the phone with you, but well, I kind of am on the phone with you because you are my phone. Uh, Kitty, you coming up here? No. Anything else happening? Not really. Excuse me, I just burped red licorice. I had a piece of licorice earlier. Oh, Alex and Rodney. The other day, I ate my last five grape gummies. So it lasted me from my birthday in May until the middle of November. So that bag of gummies lasted me a long time. But I only ate them like four or five at a time. Well, I always sit here and do work. I'd pick out a few. And now my treat is, I gotta fill this up again. I have Tootsie Rolls in here. I'll usually grab a three or four of these out of here at a time. And uh, it's funny because I'll grab them out. I'll unwrap them, set them in a little pile, and then work and then every once in a while I think tomorrow we're gonna get up and go to a couple holiday bazaars you know the seasons upon us are every freaking weekend um, I think dad wants to watch the football game tomorrow he goes we ain't going to the bazaars I'm gonna watch football game I said dad we will be home before the football game starts we're going in the morning because you want to get there early at the bazaars and uh so because they're having one where they have the Serbian festival at and then they're having one at our American Legion the Galena American Legion and so them are the only two tomorrow that I know of yes that's about all what are y'all doing for your weekend anything exciting good glorious because I really don't have a whole lot I'll try to I'll try to record if we go out tomorrow we'll go out tomorrow all I gotta do is get up and say come on let's go and he'll, he'll say okay let's go you know let's erase all these no message no message Dad just left to go play cards. He had to stop and get Teresa, his our friend of ours that lives. They actually live in my uncle, Uncle Joe and Aunt Linda's old house. They bought it. 
<clears throat> so whenever she wants to play cards, she'll call and leave a message going, Hey, you going to cards tonight? And then he'll stop and get her. And then, uh, then there, there are a few weeks that she just, she doesn't call. So dad knows, well, she's not going to go. Then my cousin Bart stopped while we were gone. Because we pulled in the driveway. I'm like, the garage door's open. He had just forgot to close it. But uh, he had uh, fixed the front. Something in front of our house had gotten loose. The eaves or something. And so we bolted it back on there. So I'm hoping that'll fix the problem we had this last year when it would rain really hard. And water kind of seeped in our window or in the kitchen. So we're thinking that'll fix the situation. So he was up on our roof while we were gone. Dad called him and he goes, I see you were up here. And Dad's like, are you okay? He goes, yeah, I'm fine. He was in a he was in a tree stand hunting. <laughs> Waiting for the big one to walk by. He likes to eat venison. I could never shoot one. I'd be like, oh, come here and let me pet you. Right, kitty? Kitty, do we need a pet, dear? No, nah, she wouldn't be impressed. But all right, I'm going to roll out. Hope you're having a good Friday. I'm going to go heat up my leftovers and go to the living room. And I think I have some stuff recorded to watch. I always do. If not, I always have like 20 episodes of Ellen recorded. So I always have something. No. My printer's like, do you want to update? Not right now. All right.